Hey guys, so today we are creating this very cute ice cream cake, Neapolitan. She's a Neapolitan ice cream cake. The details on this cake are extremely simple, but they're so charismatic because of the color scheme and that beautiful smile. So let's get started. My name is B Valencia Vagara. What is her name? S Sophia Vagara. And my voice is so annoying sometimes. <laughs> no, it's not. Yes, it is. <laughs> Now to create this cake, I'm starting with a 9 by 5 inch cake. I placed my ice cream shape on top and just cut away the excess cake. And this was the perfect size. I didn't have to cut away that much cake. I'm going to take my template off and just cut my cake into two equal layers. Remove the top layer, place it onto my cake board. I'm using this as the bottom because there's a little dip. So I use box cake because I'm lazy and I, I make so many cakes. And somebody told me that you can use soda instead of eggs and oil. So this cake has nothing but box cake mix and a can of soda. And it works because the texture is like a regular box cake, but there was a dip in this, so. Kind of works. 50-50. So I added buttercream into the middle of my cake and I just spread it out with an offset spatula. And once I was done smoothing it out, I placed it into the fridge and I was watching, what was I watching? Oh, I was watching Queer Eye on Netflix. Oh gosh, if you haven't seen the first season, it'll make you cry like a baby. Currently on the third season and it's just, it's so remarkable. Like all of the people that they meet, they met these chicks that were like, they, made, they have their own barbecue stand. They make this awesome barbecue sauce. I wanted to buy it, but they live in Kansas. And so even though the bottle is only $6 for 15 ounces of barbecue sauce, it's $8 to ship to California. That's too much. I'm, I'm just gonna put it off and then go on a road trip to Kansas someday. Hopefully soon. Now if you haven't seen it, make sure you check it out. And if you have seen it, what do you think and has it made you cry. Now let's get back to the cake. I took my cake out of the fridge and I added on a very large piece of brown fondant to the bottom of this cake. So we're making a Neapolitan ice cream, which means that there's chocolate, vanilla, and strawberry on top. Now I smoothened it out with my offset spatula and a cake scraper, and I just used the cake scraper to cut away the excess fondant. Then I added some pink fondant to the top of my cake. Again, I just use my cake scraper to create the sides of the cake and then a paring knife to cut away the excess fondant. Now, because we are adding another layer of white fondant on top of this, I wanted to make sure that it didn't dip into this little sort of trench <laughs> in between the pink and the brown. So I added some pink fondant just to fill in the space. Then on top went a strip of white fondant to create the vanilla layer. I cut away the excess with my cake scraper and then I added all of my ice cream's face detail. Two black eyes, a beautiful smile, and two catch lights. Um, and to finish the face off, I just added some cheek details. Insert a craft stick with some fondant to create the handle. And voila, my kawaii Neapolitan ice cream cake was complete. Super simple, but extremely cute. And make sure you hit the notification button so you can see all of my kawaii creations. I love creating this cake. I'm having more fun making these than any of my 3D cakes because they're so simple. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I love you. I will see you very soon. Peace.